said good morning because I'm used to good morning, but good evening and welcome to today's service. After a long day that you might have had, like me, I had a service in the morning, and then after the service, I had to go and do the personal visit, and here I am again. Yeah, thank you for welcoming me. Welcome to the beginning of the Lent season, which begins today on Ash Wednesday. Allow me to, to read from the second season, the main day of the Lent season. It says, For 40 days, Jesus fasted and prayed as he prepared himself for the work his Father had given him to do. For 40 days, in the early centuries of the church, the candidates for baptism were required to undergo a special course of instruction and fasting in preparation for their Christian initiation and the Easter vision. These are the roots from which the season of Lent has come down to us. The church called on its members to keep the 40 days before Easter as a, as a time of special devotion and self-denial. Christians are baptized already and cannot be baptized again, but they can, but they can by their Lenten exercise, deepen their faith and repentance required of those who will enter the kingdom of heaven. Nor can Christians withdraw from the world to be alone with God, as Jesus did, but by, 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 by their Lenten discipline, they can create their own wilderness in the midst of the busy life. So our Lenten acts of devotion and self-denial have this twofold meaning and purpose. They are acts of obedience to the Church of Christ, to the Church of Christ, recalling us to our baptismal promises. They are also an expression of the seriousness of our desire to, to, pleasure, to please God after the example of Christ, reminding us that even Christ pleased not himself. I guess that explains the whole service that we'll be having this evening, which is the service of us having to inspect ourselves and returning back to God, I will touch more on it in my sermon. And it's also it's a time for, for a prayer, as I will also touch on it in my sermon, that during this time let us pray for those whom we know that they are in need of prayer. Some of them, their names are returned from the previous letters, such as Chris and Shelley Ferguson, and today we don't have the organ because she is not doing well. Lydia Mariti, Esther Fomo, Evie Hedges, Dukas Matikoto, and also Anna Shiba. Let us keep them in our prayers. And again, during this next journey, in the Catholic Church, as you know that Anglican, Roman Catholic, Lutheran, we all form part of of Catholic Church. We are in a, in, in a pilgrimage to Easter, and therefore when we are in a pilgrimage of, to Easter, there are things that we omit during this season of Lent, things such as the songs that have Hallelujah on them, and the Gloria in the Mass and Doxology. So we omit those things in honor and of sharing with Christ, who is in the desert for 40 days. So pay attention that the service will be omitting them. Don't think that we just forget to say them. Thank you. Shall we pray? Lord God, we thank you for this day that you have created for us. We thank you, Lord, that unworthy though we are, we can still come and join you, Lord, in this pilgrimage of 40 days of prayer, 
fasting. We wish as not as we gather here this evening to dedicate our lives to you. Jane with us Lord to this day of late season. We call upon you, Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Our service to those who have prayer books, our service continues on page 104. My dear sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you.
reading from Isaiah 58, we read from verse 1 to 12. Shout it aloud, do not hold back. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people that they are rebellion and to the descendants of Jacob their sins. For day after day they seek me out. They seem eager to know my ways, as if they were a nation that does what is right and has not forsaken the commands of his God. They ask me for just decision and seem eager for God to come near them. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen it? Why have we hammered ourselves and you have not noticed? Yet on the day of your fasting, you do as you please and exploit all your workers. Your fasting ends in quarreling and strife and in striking each other with wicked fists. You cannot fast as you do today and expect your and expect your voice to be heard on high. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for people to humble themselves. Is it only for bowing one's head like a reed? and for lying in sackcloth and ashes. Is that what you call a fast, a day acceptable to, to the Lord? Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To lose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of, of the yoke? to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor with wanderer, the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them and to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Then your light, then your light will break forth like dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, Here I am I. If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with a pointing finger, and malicious talk, and if you spend yourself on behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness, and your, your, your night will become like noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satis satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring, a spring whose waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient reeds and will raise up the eight old foundations. You will be called preparer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Hear the word of the Lord. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 5 1. We find it on page 66 in the blue and blue prayer. Those who are not going to read prayer. I'm going to read and stop the lesson in the column and we will finish the sentence. Yeah. 
was brought to bed. And Through that desired truth in the inward parts. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We may impose you on a Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be a sin for us, so that in him we might become righteousness of God. As a call, as God called workers, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain, for he said, In the time of my favor I helped you, and in the day of salvation I helped you. I tell you, now is the time for God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. We put no stumbling block in in any one's path, so that our mystery will not be discredited, rather as a servant of God who commanded ourselves in every way. In a great endurance, in troubles, hardship, and distress, in beating and imprisonment, riot, and in hard time, sleepless night and hunger, in purity and understanding, patience and kindness, in the Holy Spirit and in sincere love, in truthful speech and in the power of God with the weapon of righteousness, in the right hand and in the left, through glory and dishonor, bad report and good report, genuine yet regarded as imposter, known yet regarded as unknown, dying and yet we live all, beaten and yet not killed, sorrowful yet always rejoicing, and poor yet making many rich, not having nothing yet possessing everything. Hear the word of the Lord.
others to be seen by them. If you do, you will not, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. For when you give to the needy, do not pronounce it with trumpets, and the hypocrites do in the snubbers, and on the streets to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, Where they go and meet 
And that is under the betrayal. I kind of ask myself sometimes that, who tells them that they should go and meet under the betrayal? But they go and meet under the victory. And that has become the nature of people, Bishop. Because even when we have some trainings or workshops here, people go and meet under this tree. I don't know who told them to meet under the tree. You know, like in a village, even boys, when they quarrels among them, don't always go and meet, don't always say, let us meet under the tree so that we can discuss this matter. Ever since you were born. 
And let's say if they want to stop him, it's a miracle. Those two things, they don't stop. When is it your heart is still pumping? Your mind is still waking. Hence, when you hear something happening outside, you wake up very fast. But Jesus is saying to us that say those things and channel them so that they can focus in God, in talking to God. And he's saying that to us that we need to be fixed to God during this Lent season. We need to know that we have a friend in Jesus who we can always go and talk to at all times. We need to go and talk to God at all times. We need to go and praise God. We need to teach our minds and our hearts that even when there are things that are troubling us in our families, in our communities, as every day we hear the murdering of women, it's pity that yesterday, two days ago, there's someone who made that his girlfriend and put him inside the, inside the bag and was about to throw him at the dumping site. There's a lot happening in our community. Business people are worried that low shading is not is making them to lose their business. Like there are lots of those things which gives you sleepless nights. And you need to say to, to, to your heart sometimes, and to your mind, you know what my heart and my mind forget a bit about this. Let's focus on God and talk to God. For in Jesus, we have a friend who will always listen to us. We have a friend who won't judge you. We have a friend who will always be there to talk to you spiritually. Say that, my son, my daughter, how about you approach the matter in this way? In Jesus, we need to be rest and short. I know there's a policy, one of the policies, which says, well, blah, 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 rest and short in us. So, be rest and short also in Jesus. For in Jesus, we have a friend. But we need to submit, sub to, to submit ourselves first to him through prayer. And prayer is simple. It's just like taking a walk with a friend and say, let us sit under this tree and we talk. Imagine you're sitting under that tree talking to your friend who is Jesus during this season of 40 days of Lent. And I thank God that we who are a member of Catholic Church. We have resources to pray with. We have prayer books. We, we have in books and the song that we can sing with our prayers. And one thing which I love most is that we pray even through communion which we partake whenever we meet. If you didn't know, if you go and if you go and partake communion in faith and say, in faith, I'll be healed. The communion that you partake, indeed, you shall be healed through the body and the blood of Jesus. And if you don't know how to pray, come to me. I'll teach you the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his disciples. And the other thing that Jesus taught us when in, in his prayer is that when you pray, always ask for forgiveness. I think it has turned to be a norm, our norm, that whenever we pray, all we do is to praise God. And after praising God, we say what? God, now please, please give me one, two, three. That's what we do. What about our forgiveness? Bishop, what about people whom we've wronged in our life? 
They know they don't they deserve forgiveness from our side. Yes. We are human. We are human. And as if we are human beings, and in a human, human format as we are, we sin every day in thought, in, 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 we sin in thought, in what we have done, and in what we have not even done. They promise not to always tell that, I'm coming, I'm coming, or I'll do it tomorrow. Or sometimes say, yes, I'll do it for you. Deep down in that you can't. Why don't you just say I can't? Therefore, we sin in many ways. Therefore, we need to ask God to forgive us for our sins. And again, when we pray, Jesus taught his disciples that when you pray, don't say, My Father who art in heaven. No. He said, Don't do that. Say, Our Father who art in heaven. For prayer is not something that you need to be jealous of. Prayer is something that you need to share with others. What I think of those who are lying in hospital who can pray at this moment. Think of those who are going through difficult time in their life, whom prayer perhaps the last thing in their minds. Think of those who know how to pray, but they're not in the right, in the right place for them to pray. Therefore, when you pray during this life journey, think of them also. You know, as I was preparing this message, I heard the story of Job. I heard the story of Job. If you don't know the story of Job, please go and read Job. Let's start it from chapter 2 so that you can fast forward the story. We hear that Job was going through a lot in his life. And people, they went. Even, even, even his wife said, Job my, job my happy or Job my boyfriend or Job what was. Why don't you just cast this God of yours and die? But just because he knew the relationship he had with God, he continued to focus on his relationship with God. And John, we are told that he was quiet. Are we sure that he was quiet? Or he was talking to God in prayer through meditation? And we are told that that people in community, but in the was like, no, let's go and see what is affecting Muruti. Maybe Muruti will tell us today. When they got there, maybe they met at the tree of life with him. When they got there, they start to look at him and they examine him. And we're told that they were all quiet. Just sitting there examining him. But was Job quiet or was Job praying? And again, we are told that during this forties, during this next season, we need to fast. We need to fast. Fast from your body desires. Things that you spend time doing. If you are like me, I last any time on Facebook, I last any time on TikTok. If you are like me, fast for those. You know, fasting is very easy. Fasting is a very easy thing to do. You know, it's like when you need to lose weight. It's like when you need to lose weight, what do you do? You go to gym, and when you go to gym, you create your goals that I want to lose weight. You even point the part where you want to lose weight. You point those parts that I want to lose weight here and here and here, and the gym instructor will say will help you to genuinely see that use this machine, don't use this machine. Eat so many eggs or cut on eggs. Eat meat or cut on meat. Drink whiskey or drink wine, they will help you, they will tell you. It's like doing that. Or, it's like, if you are left to go to the gym, 
It's like when you go out to buy, what they call those things? To lose weight. You know them? Those things that you buy and you lose so that you can lose weight. Herbal life is not my food. It's like when you go to buy herbal life, you know that you can't buy herbal life and continue eating fats. It won't work to you. That's how fasting is like. You need to put other things on hold and say, for this length journey, let me put spending time, let me put things that consume my time and focus on God. Of course, my little people, they've been, they've been misinterrupt, misinterrupting fasting as they let go of food. No, you need food for energy. But yes, if you have got something to stop eating, stop eating but get something to boost your energy. And then you say, let me put up and put those things aside and focus. Take that time you spend watching TV, Netflix, uh, shopping from Soapy or series from series or whatever that you spend time doing. Take them and say for these 40 days, my heart and my thoughts they will be channeled to God. And to God alone I shall do to me. Fasting should apply to all, to our life. Fasting also, it helps to uplift our spirits, our, 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 our relationship with God. So we need to let go of other things that you know that don't always drag you to sin, such as gossip, such as gossip. Put it aside. Such as things that you know that you spend things that you know that you spend time doing. Maybe even perhaps even on Sunday. If you know that you, you get up in the morning and you do other things, put it aside and say, for just these 40 days, let me go and praise God. I think it's just only first Sunday. And say, so let me go and spend this first Sunday in the house of God and see what will happen after fasting. But, do pay attention that during this time of fasting, that's where trials and temptation comes. That's where you are going to face mountains. For the devil is there to test how strong you are. The devil is there to shake you, say that, what are you doing? Are you sure about what you are doing? This is the time when you need to stand your ground and say, whether I get sick and say, whether I get, I lost my job and say, whether whatever that happens, I shall keep my relationship with God and in prayer, I will win this battle. And lastly, I love how Jesus put these things. First he said, pray, fast, and this is what he says. Lastly, give. He says, give. After when you, when, when, when you are fasting and when you are praying, you get to be able to see things that are needed in your life and things that you don't need in your life. You'll be able to see that I don't need this thing in my closet. Now I don't have to go and give some to someone. You'll be able to say I have so many food in the cupboard which I don't need and I, 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 I have lost appetite of them now. Why don't I go and give it to someone? You know, you might be fasting from eating bread, but does it mean that someone at the gate is fasting from eating bread? Why don't you say that? The, why don't you say that the bread that I used to eat, I shall continue to go and buy it, and instead of me eating, I'll give it to someone. And you know what the person who's going to say what you are giving will say? 
We say, thank you, God, that someone could to think of me today. So, but Jesus is also saying that when you fast, don't, 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 don't stop fasting, please. And don't stop cutting your hair and look handsome. And people, when they look at you and say, what's wrong with you? They say, I'm fasting. <laughs> Jesus said, don't do that. He says, when you fast, wash your hair, wash yourself. You are fasting, it should be between you and your God. For God knows what you are doing. Some applies that when you give, don't sound the, the trumpet and say, po, 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 I'm about to give. <laughs> and then my, my, my jacket. Jesus says, don't do that. I know. We know that as is said by people, not you, not you. We know that as is said by people during this period, this time of Easter offering. Because in other churches there, there's a tradition that they gave to, they, 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 they prepared those envelopes for bar baruti. Mm -hmm. They prepared those envelopes for baruti. And then you get have a gift and you see baruti glowing after Easter. And you say, ah, baruti is glowing because I gave my envelopes. <laughs> and you move around in verse of that. You say it's glowing because I gave my evil law. God says, don't do that. And he used a simple example, says, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Just imagine, the two hands are on one structure. But he says, don't let the hands know what you are doing. In other words, say that, don't let your neighbor know whom you have helped. It is between you and young God and the receiver. Yes, we are going to the Lent season. We will begin the Lent season today. A season which is calling us to repent and go back to God and know who our God is again and prepare our hearts in these 40 days through prayer, through fasting, and through giving with others in preparation for us to rise again with Christ when we remember his rising again from the tomb. So we too, after 40 days, as we put or as those things that are sinful desires in, in us, as they die and will rise again with God on the day of Easter Sunday. Yes, by doing that, or when you live the tree of life, which is, which I'm inviting that we go and sit there under that tree of life for these 40 days, talking to each other, advising each other, and taking time of meditation and talking to God. Every Wednesday, next from next week, we'll be having Wednesday evening teaching, which the main theme is still let us be under the tree of life. And different things will be unpacked on how to live a righteous life. Who knows? Maybe after 40 days, you will be someone different, whom everyone will then notice that you are different. What happens? And you get to share your testimony with them. So, as you rest under the tree of life, on your own, think and examine your body, your life, the life that you've been living. Examine it and say, and, and see things that you need to let go of and things that you need to keep. Examine yourself and think and see that people whom you have wronged and met in the evening before you sleep and ask yourself that what good did I do today and what wrong did I do today? How can I improve my life? So, as we journey in this journey that we started, on your own you won't manage to do it. Hence, you need God to help you, to give you strength. As you pray, 
and pray harder and harder. Don't be shakable. Actually, you need to sing. And you need to sing the song that says, Pour down the Spirit on us, Jesus. To learn my how Jesus on me or on us as we begin this journey. It's pretty that the poor dear father the gifted are different. God gave me in other way, but things to do with music. <laughs> I call that. They may have said he didn't give it to me. But may someone please just start a song for us. We sing
invited to come to the rain to be marked with the sign of cross of ashes on their foreheads. Dear friends in Christ, the Christian Passover and the Christian Passover we celebrate yet again our redemption through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Since early days, the church has kept the season of Lent as a time of preparation for Easter. We begin Lent by remembering the need for repentance. So let us, let us ask God, our Father, to bless these ashes to our lips. They be made from the palms with which we greeted Christ, our King, with joy last Palm Sunday. They are a sign that we need to prepare ourselves with penitence. Let us pray. Lord, bless these ashes to our use and grant that they may remind us of our mortality and of our need for repentance so that we may keep Lent faithfully in preparation for the joy of Easter. And we ask this in the name of Christ our Lord. And therefore, my dear sisters and brothers, remember that you are at last, and to last you shall return. Oh, Lord.
return to the Lord with all your heart. Leave the past in ashes and turn to God with tears and fasting. For he is slow to anger and always ready to forgive. We praise you that you are always ready to forgive the penitent. Bring us by your spirit to true repentance and the joy of knowing your forgiveness. Accept through Jesus Christ our Lent and acts of love and sacrifice. Prepare us to celebrate his Passover and to share his risen life. Lord, in your mercy.
Our service continues on page 116 in our prayer books. But after that, you join us as we pray all three prayers on that page 116. It's the prayer of giving over the gift to the Lord and also of, the, of receiving the wine and the wafers, which to, to us will be the body and the blood of Christ. And together we say, Your
this bread which we break, is it not a share of the body of Christ? We
the body and the blood of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the comfort of all faithful people. Help us to persevere as living members of that holy fellowship and to grow in love and obedience according to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, holy and blessed with you the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Shall we join together as we pray prayer number eight?
Sabah, 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 Sabah,